Today I'm sharing the first release of my Atari 7800 game, Block'em Sock'em. I do believe this is one of the best versions of the game. I worked with Daryl Genther, who's a programmer, and collaborated with him for several months, and it's finally complete. I'm super excited to share with you a physical release. Now, it's going to be at conventions, but it's also going to be available complete in box at Atari Age eventually, as well as I'm working with Atari and trying to get this on the Atari VCS, as well as some other options, fingers crossed. But just wanted to share this first release. It's going to be available at SideQuest, Game On Expo, Midwest Gaming Classic, and maybe some more places Depending on availability, I wanted to share this first run with you. So sit back, relax. You may want to grab some popcorn. Here we go. Thought I'd show the 3D cart assembly and I got the uh, PCB from Atari Age. Thank you, Albert. And awesome to just have that support from him and Atari. And so here are 3D printed shells, which I got from my good friend, Gary of Rock Solid Productions. And this is using a uh, 3D print design that's uh, open source. There's a lot that goes into offering a physical release. Uh, I had to get my own screws, but uh, a couple local places had them and had something that was compatible. It's screw number four, half inch, if you're curious. Uh, they didn't have specifically the, the the flathead top screws or whatever, however you want to say that um, but they have the next best thing and it works so yeah assembly is uh just a little tedious but you can do it you have to properly line the plastic guard into the top and bottom of the shell and a, a little bit of patience uh, but this is significantly easier than assembling 2600 shells which I, I do in the hundreds over the years uh, for my aftermarket games catacombs of chaos retro game quest game panic and game panic 3 so uh, here it is you just align it like so and put the top and bottom part of the shell but Gary of Rock Solid Productions did a great job. He he offered me a, a small batch of 3D printed shells. Really, really nice looking. Uh, the uh, Some of them have this like, I don't know, design on them. Uh, I, it's hard to explain, but it essentially is due to his 3D print setup. He has a great channel, you may want to check it out. Offers lots of 3D printing stuff as well on a store. So, Screw it in like so. This particular design has four separate screws. So, you know, that's uh, more, it's kind of overkill, but uh, it's nice and sturdy. And, um, you know, the, the greatest thing about this though is the programmed edition of Yamaha Sound. With a 2600 plus update, it can play the Yamaha Sound. It's great. Um, unfortunately, uh, with a standard 7800, that's not an option. But in the demo, if you have a, a, like a game drive, uh, 7800 game drive, you can play that the sound. So here it is. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get the labels. Here's the labels offered from Atari Age. Look absolutely fantastic. And you know what? It, uh, I have a multitude of different colors. I chose a black cart here because it has a really cool kind of like design, the 3D print design. And, uh, but I have yellow, green, blue, white. And uh, you know, I may do another run of these, we'll see. I really like how it turned out though. I didn't know what I thought of the 3D printed shells, but you know, and I know there's injection molded shells you can get for the same price, but I really like how the 3D printed shells turned out. And putting on labels is, it's pretty nice. Now, uh, the front doesn't have like a groove for the uh, top label, but what I do is I offer, and there it is, completed cart. What I offer is I put uh, cart only releases. I go to retroprotection.com and I offer these cartridge covers. And I, I don't want to think how much money I've spent there. <laughs> 
but I try to protect things, especially offering card only and looks nice. Here we go. This is with the Yamaha sound. Now this is playing and I'm capturing footage through the 2600 plus with the latest update. There is three different difficulty set settings, options, as well as instructions. The instructions are built in. Daryl did an amazing job of inputting all the instructions. Now this has some bonus features some of the other versions don't have. It does have on original 7800 Atari Vox support and talks about it right here. And just great. And using the uh, ProLine controller or two button controller, you can restart the level. Otherwise just uh, play it normally. So yeah, really nice title screen as well as other things. Just He just did an amazing job. And I just am just honored to work with him. Uh, you do different point values. This goes over all the um, different instructions. There is uh, some additional bonus scoring uh, and, and additional things. You can throw up towards... Uh, the top of the screen even after you clear a level he just did some extra things in this version of the game and, and this describes all the additional things high score support um you can even clear the high score uh if you want so just lots of different options here um fantastic there's tia there's uh tia sound and it sounds okay um i definitely am a yamaha sound uh fan but I thought he did a good job with the Tia sound, and that's the original uh, 2600 sound. That's that's what a lot of 7800 games use. But man, that Yamaha sound option is fantastic. So, and this is an option to play on the 2600 plus. So here it is. Looks great. Um, it's a lot like the other versions with. A twist there's like a bonus score you get a point a bonus point value when you match so many blocks together um, in this version uh, continues do cost score it's it costs your score so you can continue but it, it, it costs you so there's not unlimited continues in this version you have to get so many points to continue I love that I love what he has done with this version and and just you know i'm starting over i'm just showing you many different ways of completing levels and uh several different levels to complete now in this version there's 29 complete levels i love that i love that he added the demo levels to the game making it 29 so awesome over at atari age you can check out the multiple levels I will put a link below in the description where you can play this if you have a game drive or emulator. Check it out. So what you're hearing is Atari Box, and this is hardware that you can get on Atari Age that adds sound to specific different Atari 2600 and 7800 games. Absolutely fantastic, and really love it. And want to show a little bit later the Tia sound what it's going to sound like on uh, a stock 7800 so it's important but I want you to hear that Tari box uh, the voice so awesome and here's the Tia sound and you know what there's, there's gonna be some people out there gonna play this on OG 7800 nothing wrong with that Just did an absolutely brilliant job. And I'm a huge puzzle fan, and just a huge thanks to all that were involved and all the play testing and feedback, which made this game better. There you have it. What did you think? In the comments below, let me know. There is a demo you can check out on Atari Age. You can play a free demo version of this and experience it. Let me know what you think. 
And as always, thank you for coming to my channel. I'm a huge Atari fan and cover all things Atari and really excited to have this release. And I'm gonna offer it in a multitude of ways. So don't worry if you're not going to conventions, there'll be other options for you. If you have a VCS, fingers crossed, eventually be offered there as well as in the Atari Age store. But man, I love how this turned out. I wanna thank Daryl so much for his hard effort and work. He worked diligently on this and I absolutely love what he made of this game. And wanna thank Atari Age for offering uh, a, a physical release of this, as well as offer me parts to offer a physical release in person and as well as Second Dimension, who did the very first version of Blockham Sockham were many of the versions that uh, afterward were based on. Thank you so much for coming and viewing this. If you like what you see, you consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the immortal John Hancock and you take care.